Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Good morning, viewer. Today, Monday, January 9, 2023, on the Advent Cable Network of Nigeria, we want to thank God for another wonderful day like this. The Lord has brought us to see. I want to wish you Happy New Year once again. And uh, by the special grace of God, the topic we are treating today is uh, calm down. God is in control. This year, I say calm down. God is in control. We have just started a new year. Hallelujah. Our text today is Genesis 15. But I may not be able to read all, but I will read view out of it. Genesis chapter 15, I begin from verse 1. After these things, the word of the Lord came to Abraham in the vision, saying, Do not be afraid, Abraham. I am your sheet, your exceedingly great reward. But Abraham said, Lord God, what will you give me? See, I go childless, and the heir of my house is Eliezer of Damascus. Then Abraham said, Look, you have given me no offsprings. Indeed, one born in my house is my heir. And behold, the word of the Lord came to him, saying, This one shall not be your heir, but one who will come from your own blood shall be your heir. Then he brought him outside and said, Look now towards heaven, and kind the star if you are able to number them. And he said to him, so shall your descendant be. And he believed in the Lord. And he accounted to him for righteousness. Thank you for your goodness over our life. Lord, we bless you. Father, we are grateful unto you for what you have done. Father, receive our praise in Jesus' name. Thank you for a beautiful year like this. Lord, we know you will glorify yourself in Jesus' name. Blessed the man we worship you. Thank you, eternal King of glory. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Once again, I welcome you this morning so that we want to enjoy the word of God together. Today's topic is so exciting. It's so good. Honestly, I love it so much. He said, calm down. God is in control. Now, when God instructed Abraham that I'm your God, I'm your Lord, I made you, I know you, I know what you are passing through. Uh -uh. God knows that Abraham is passing through, he's, he's passing through water, he's in the water. That is why he did not allow his enemy to swim. He knows that he's in the, in the fire. He said he's with him. Therefore he said, calm down, I'm with you. Lo, I'm with you to the end of the head. That is the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, life may be challenging. Things may be difficult. Friend may betray you. You may, what all hope might have gone. You may be suffering from any diseases or sickness. God said, calm down. God is in control. Calm down. God is in control. Your landlord may be troubling you. Your marital life may not be okay. You may be praying for who to marry. Calm down. God is in control. You may be looking for a job. Might not finish your job. Calm down. God is in control. Your life may be challenging. You may think of, oh, could I go and commit suicide? Could I go and do this one? Calm down. God is in control. If you are the Abraham, what would I have said? Abraham was childless for many years. And yet, God still promising him. God still promising him. Hope, a lot, a tiny hopes. No wonder. The Bible says, for the future is for an appointed times. If tiny wait for it, it shall surely come. Abraham knows that Abraham wanted to die in his heart. God, he asked God. He asked God. God, what will you give me? See that I'm, I'm childless for many years. You may call it as God. God, you see, I've been suffering for many years. I've been challenging challenges for many years. I've been sickness for many years. I've been homeless for many years. I've been barren for many years. You may ask that question. 
You can ask questions. God knows the answer to the question. Calm down. God is in control. Now, I want to teach, tell, tell us the mind of God as per calm down. You know, Jesus himself said, do not let your heart be troubled. Calm down. Do not let your heart be troubled. Calm down. God is in control. He knows, your, he knows what you need. Before you open your mouth, God knows your mind. He knows your intent. He's in control. Calm down. If only we can calm down, you will see high blood prayer, we go. But because we are too anxious of getting things done, that is why we have a problem. Calm down. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Remember, Anna went to the altar. When people give him different names, Anna calm down and God surprised him. Are you better than Hannah? Are you better than Hannah? God bless Anna. Anna has been calling all sorts of names, calling, calling her all sorts of names. And yet, she came down, she went to the heart of the Lord and spoke her mind to God and God hear her cry. And now, Anna became a mother, a mother of Samuel. Hallelujah. You too, what are you passing through? Are, are people been calling you a barren woman? Calm down. God is in control. Why can't you identify a good author of the Lord? Go kneel down there and pray to God so that God will hear your cry. So that God will hear your cry. The Bible says in the book of Psalm 25, verses 14, it said, And the confidence of the Lord are with those who fear him. Hallelujah. The confidence of the Lord, if you don't fear him, if you fear God, God will, the covenant of God will be with you. Hallelujah. Please, calm down. God is in control. You see, when we talk of about Ruth, the husband died. She calmed down and God relocated, and God, and God, and God relocated her. And God, and God blessed her so much. And God gave her a, a, a very good man and t that, that turned around her, her, her life. Can we talk of Esther? Calm down. God is in control. Many people like that. Even David in the Bible. When the enemy wants to strike him, he calm down. And God took control. If only you can calm down. You can, be, you can just humble yourself. The Bible says, I will humble myself and God will lift me up. Abraham humbled himself. He prayed to God. He gave him life to God. And God surprised him. You too, if you can give your life to God, God will surprise you. Because God is in control of every situation. When Job was questioning God, God answered Job and said, Do you know when I made the heads? Do you know when I did this? Do you know when I did this? Job said, No. Therefore, calm down. God is in control. God made you. He knows your mind. He knows your intent. When Abraham wanted to be complaining, God told him, God told him Calm down. I'm in control. You will see the glory of God. You will see the power of God. If only you can calm down and look back and look up to God. Look up to God. He will give you that thing you want. But unfortunately, why are we promoting anxiety? Why are we promoting fear? Because of fear of unknown. You don't know what is going to happen tomorrow. That is why you are promoting fear. You are promoting anxiety. You don't have business with the anxiety. You don't have business with, with fear. You don't have business with Satan. You don't have business with anybody. Be focused. Get close to God and he will answer your prayer. Give more room to Jesus in your heart. Give more room to Jesus in your heart. But another thing that is more unfortunate is that many of us, we are keeping unfriendly friends. Those unfriendly, unfriendly friends, they will either make you or mar you. And currently, many friends are leading people to destruction. Hallelujah. If you allow yourself to be used of unfriendly friends, you will be going to destruction. But when you give your life to Jesus Christ, he will direct you. He will lead you. And you have a sure mind that, oh, this is where God is taking me to. Hallelujah. Anna, our neighbors, everybody call her names, but she calmed down. Abraham, they were talking about, calm down. He listened to God's word. And now Abraham was multiplied. 
now we are seed of Abraham. We are seed of Abraham. The God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Jehovah, the man of war. Hallelujah. Why are you worried? Why should I fear when the Lord is on my side? Why should I fear? Why should you fear when the Lord is on your side? Allow God to take control. Are you hungry? Are you tasty? Are you feeling sad? Come to Jesus Christ. He will feed you. He will bless you. Abraham, our forefather, God made a covenant with him. You too can make a covenant with God. Psalm 50 verse 5 says, Gather my sin to gather unto me. Those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Abraham made a covenant with God by sacrifice. Have you made a covenant with God by sacrifice? Are you living a sacrificial life? Or are you living your life? Are you doubting God this year? 2023 is another year that God has proposed to bless you. A year, this year is your year of greater glory. You will enjoy benefit of God in your life. If only you can listen. If only you can calm down. If only you can wait patiently. Don't be naughty. Don't look at other people's work to, match, to, to, to work. You, there, there, is, there may be classmates. There may be roommates. There may be bedmates. There may be schoolmates. There is no grace mate. Hallelujah. There is no grace mate. Grace is diva. Some people are enjoying greater grace. Some are enjoying uncommon grace. Why can't you cling to that? Why can't you cling to that? Abraham enjoy uncommon grace. Abraham enjoy greater grace. Hallelujah. Now, these are the people you should look up to. Not people below. Don't look at their money. Don't look at their riches. Look at the grace of God upon their life. How do you measure the grace of God? You will see, Bible says, by their fruit, we shall know them. By that fruit they are bearing, you shall know them. Hallelujah. Many of us, we are afraid of the future. Fear of unknown. What will future hold for me? What will future hold when, time, when it is like this? Uh -uh. You don't need to be fear. You don't want to be worried. You don't have to be worried. You don't have to be afraid. No matter what comes your way, your, the God is in control. Hallelujah. Don't be afraid. Just calm down, knowing fully well that God is with you. One with God is majority. If only you can hold on to God. Abraham is a father of faith. At that age, he held on to God. Hannah is a mother, another mother of faith. Held on to God. Hallelujah. Why can't you hold on to God? And believe that with God, all things are possible. With God, all things are possible. God that did it for the people of the past will do it for you. Don't, don't entertain no anxiety. Don't entertain fear. God has promised you that he will do what he said he will do. He has promised he will never fail. He has promised he will never fail you. I've never seen God failed. It is you that you to fail. God never fail. God never fail. God never fail. God has never failed. But when you are doubting God, you will be disappointed. Hallelujah. When you are doubting God, you will be disappointed. When you are double-minded, you will be disappointed. But when you are focused, when you calm down, you look up to God every, every seconds. You see God in whatever you are doing. If you can see God in whatever you are doing, you will enjoy God. But if you don't see God in whatever you are doing, there is no way you will enjoy God. Hallelujah. This year, 2023, and I pray for you, the Lord will open the door for you. That your womb that is being sought, the Lord will open it in Jesus' name. That your job that is being held on, the Lord will give you in Jesus' name. Go to, now to the enemy's care and take what the devil has stolen. Go now to the enemy's care and take what belongs to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Every siege holding down your breakthrough this year, the Lord will break, destroy them in the name of Jesus. Every forces holding down your breakthrough this year, 2023, the Lord will break them in Jesus' name.
The Bible is the word of God. It's yea and amen. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 41, verse 10, God said, the promise I, the, uh, the promise I have for you, I will do it. Yeah, yeah, he made, made, made a good promise. And that promise, he will surely do it. Because God is not a liar. God is not a man that you should lie, that you to deceive, that you to cut corner. God reward everyone. Say, behold, my reward are with me to give everyone according to his own work. Hallelujah. God will reward you. Just calm down. Stop crying. Why are you crying? Weep no more. Abraham stopped weeping when he identified God. Anna stopped weeping when he identified God. You can see when Sarah refused to calm down. See what he has brought us to. By I, all of us understand what is happening now. Hallelujah. See what has happened. But when you calm down, there is no way you will jump into wrong solution. There is no way you jump to wrong answer. But if you wait on the Lord, wait unto the Lord. Wait unto the Lord. Just calm down. You will enjoy God in Jesus' name. Brethren, I want to share up. Because in everything, there is solution. To everything that has a beginning, must surely have an end. That thing you are passing through today, it is not the end of your life. That thing you are passing through today, it is not the end of your life. God has a solution to that thing. God has a solution to that challenge. God has a solution to that problem. God has a solution to what you are passing through. If only you can allow God. I want to ask you, can you allow God to take control of your life? Can you allow God to take control of your life? If you, if only. And I know by the time you do that, heaven will open and bless you. In Jesus' name. Your future is well secure under God. Your tomorrow is greater. Hallelujah. Everybody is praying for a better tomorrow. Why can't you pray for a better tomorrow? Why are you entertaining fear? Why are you entertaining anxiety? Why are you listening to the side talks? Why are you looking to listen to wrong people? Why can't you listen to the voice of the Lord? When God speaks to you, listen to God. When God speaks, listen. God spoke to Abraham, and Abraham answered God, and God answered, and the solution came to his life. Hallelujah. Solution came to his life. And God now said, okay, come out. Look at this stand on the ground. Your children will be more than this. That you cannot count. And look at, behold, no and behold. No matter how they do sense on this world, they can never get accurate sensor. Because people are born daily in, in the world. Even in Nigeria. Hallelujah. Therefore, people of God, I want to adv I advise you to calm down. Let God take control. Let the Lord have his way in your life. Give more room to Jesus in your heart. But unfortunately, who are those people that entertain fears? Who are those people that entertain anxiety? It is those that they, know they, are, they don't know their God. Because the Bible says, they that know their God, they shall do exploits. They will walk and they will never be tired. But because you don't know God, that is why you are tired. Because you don't know God, that is why you are, you are saying, why is it me that this thing happened to? If you know God, you say, Lord, I surrender, I surrender all. I surrender, I surrender all. All to thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender all. If you surrender all to God, he will take care of you. Cast your body upon the Lord, for he cares for you. Cast your body upon the Lord, for he cares for you. Are you weak and heavy laden? Tell it to God in prayer. He will answer you. Hallelujah. God will God that change the bitter water to a sweet one. We do your own. He will change that story. And he will do it in Jesus' name. I can see the finger of the Lord rewriting your story from story to glory. I can see the finger of the Lord rewriting your story from story to glory.
Hallelujah. The finger of God that is written the case of Abraham will rewrite your case in the name of Jesus. The finger of God that rewrites the story of Jabez will rewrite your story in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. When God finger, God hand is on a business, no hand can be there again. When God's hand is on a business, no hand can be no hand can be there again. Hallelujah. Look at the issue of Ruth, a widow. She never knew that God is preparing a greater place for, him, for her. And God located her. How much more can we talk about David? How much more can we talk about even you yourself? That God has blessed more than what you think. And you are still thinking that God has not blessed you. If you think God has not blessed you, go and apologize to God. God has blessed you one way or the other. I want you to calm down. Calm down and see God in control. God is in control of your life. God is in control of your family. God is in control of your situation. Can you tell me which situation God cannot turn around? Can you tell me which situation God cannot turn around? God that turned around is Jabez. He turned around his, uh, his case. The woman with Jesus' blood, God turned around her case. Hallelujah. Even David, God turned around his case. Hallelujah. God can equally turn around your case. Ezekiah, remember, when he knew the day he was going to die, God turned around his case. Had that more 15 years to, to, to his year. Then why are you complaining? Please, can you calm down? Can you calm down and listen to what God is saying? Let us pray. Please, close your eyes earnestly. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray to my viewer, those that are listening and looking at me now, let the power of God change their story. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the finger of God rewrite their story. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the power of God rewrite their story. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord that rewrite the story of Abraham will change your story. The Lord that rewrite the story of Anna will change your story. You will never be barren. You will never lack any good thing. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak power to your life. That your dead body, that your dead body that is dead, may the Lord heal it. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord heal it. In the name of Jesus, let that thing that is giving you concern, the hand of God will touch you. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will never be sorrowful because you know God and you will do exploit. Because you are for God, you will do exploit. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, blessed Redeemer. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we appreciate you because you are a great God. Blessed be your name, O Lord. Thank you, mighty God. Forever you continue to be our God. In the name of Jesus Christ. If you know you have not given your life to Jesus, you can't enjoy God. Please, I beseech you. Give your life to Jesus so that you'll be able to enjoy this blessing, this covenant. God is called God is a covenant keeping God. He's a covenant keeping God. Because He's a covenant keeping God, He's going to bless you. He, he had made a covenant with you. You to make a covenant with Him so that you can be blessed. Thank you and God bless you. I wish you Happy New Year once again in Jesus' name. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of The Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website www.acnntv.com